All right, let's get in our experts into the show now. Dean Jones and Farooq uh, Engineer right here with us. Mr. Engineer, let me begin with you first because you were the one who picked Mumbai. You are understandably very, very upset. Your take on what happened today. Well, how many more times are Mumbai Indians going to blow it away? You know, they gave it to, to RCB on a platter mm. because they should have won it. What was, you know, Kieran Pollard sitting in the dressing room? He, he, why was he playing the match? He bowled one over, mm. gave 15 runs. Mm. Surely when... When Mumbai needed 10 and over, over 10 and over, mm. Pollard was the man to have come in right. because he's the only one who could have struck some, some hefty blows mm. and brought the level down, the average down to about 5 and 6 and over mm. with Rayudu. I rate him very highly, very good player indeed. Mm. But wrong time for him to come in. Kieran mm. Pollard should be, have come in at that stage. Mm. How often we've seen that in the finals a few years ago, yes. Pollard again sitting on his backside. Mm. The multi million pound think tank mm. of Anil Kumble. <laughs> Ricky Ponting, Sachin Tendulkar. Mm. Come on, earn your keep, guys. Mm. You know, think, think right. Isn't it, it it's depressing? Oh, Mumbai oh. Indians must be so disappointed right. that the star hitter, one of the finest hitters in the game, mm. along with Chris Gale, who had a typically forceful Gale force of 90, you know, he, he won the game mm. on one leg, literally. But Mumbai Indians, unfortunately, right. gave it away, threw it away. Right. You know, I don't know why you're crying there because you should be laughing at this point in time. Because That's uh, the reason <laughs> why I don't support teams. So you don't let your emotions come into your decision making. You weren't born in Bombay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <not simple. laughs> but, but I'll say this, if IPL wanted a game of cricket to start this yeah. IPL 6 straight off, yeah. well, they got one. They got an absolute ripper. Yep. But it comes with a but. Yep. I have had knee reconstructions. I ripped my ACL joint. I was out for a whole year. Mm. I reckon I'm not a physio or anything like that, but I'll tell you right now, I haven't spoken to Chris Gale, mm. even though I've tried to contact him. Mm. He's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, that was actually he going to be my next question. That, that injury that he picked up, that looks, he, that looks bad. That he, looks really dodgy. He, he's, ru he's either ruptured the medial With or so he's done games. a cartilage there. Mm. And I'm going to tell you that it'll take at least three to four weeks. And that With is so not many good games news. In no. quick succession Bangalore. without any yeah. rest. Yeah. Yeah. He's struggling. You know, and, and Royal Challenge of Bangalore are going to miss him. Mm. Miss him big time. You take him out like, like no jokes at all. Right. If Mumbai had Malinga tonight, they win the game. They win the game. They would have you shut reckon, them down. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, mm. now what I see, if Chris Gale is out for the next three, four weeks, mm. uh, for a, oh, they're gone. Ship, are you they're, they're gone. The RCB won't. They, they will dead set struggle. Well, I'll I think it's a Dali. great challenge for the youngsters. Yeah. You know, for Virat Kohli and others yeah. to come forward. You know, mm. put their hand forward and say, "Come on, okay, Chris Gale, mm. our star striker, mm. is injured. It's up mm. to us now. Yeah. Let's hold the man. It's only twenty overs." Mm. You know, on the side, a good innings, mm. a good couple of innings can win you the game. But looking at looking at the Bangalore batting order, and I was just looking at the scorecard here, mm. you reckon that if you take out the top two batsmen, Dilshan and Gale, they can be very, very, very weak when it comes to their batting. I'll go through one name. Agarwal. Mm. He looked average today, one after five. What do you do when you're a young kid? Come, you've got the biggest power hit, as Farouk said. Mm. Give him the strike. Exactly. Get yourself. Now, what did he try to do? He tried to out-muscle Chris Gale. Mm. Dumb, dumb stuff. Well, this is where Think Tank comes in, doesn't it? Dan Christian comes in. Correct, Think Tank stuff. D Dan Christian comes in. Mm. He was average off four for 13. Mm. Uh, Nair, he, he made a duck. Uh, Aaron Kartik got 19 off nine, fortunately. But I'll tell you what saved them. Here's the point that saved um, the Royal Challenge. 16 extras. Yeah. Six, there was um, 11, 11 leg buys and five wides. Coaches don't mind Inik Farouk around about 5 to 10, or obviously yeah, Inik less than 10, with you, yeah. but well over that. That's, that's the it's difference on, in the game. Not on in not 20 on. overs, you know. No, that's bad discipline. Dinesh Karthik, mm. superb 60. Yep. You know, fantastic you can't take bad. the yeah, credit fantastic. out of him. No. He played magnificently and lovely to see. He's come on in his wicket keeping. Mm -hmm. You know, he kept very well too. Yeah. Punting, stumping, you know, was, wasn't all that easy right. coming between the bat and the stumps. And um, on the blind side of the wicket keeper. Yeah. And what an innings he played. Superb. Yeah. I'm very pleased with that. How was Mumbai. They've just yeah. paid $900,000 for Maxwell. Mm -hmm. And they didn't play, play him. him. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Mumbai Indians think tank oh, again. Oh, you're a beauty, but, Mumbai. But, but you know, Mr. Engineer makes a very, very valid point. You've uh, got a Ricky Ponting there. You've mm. got Sachin Tendulkar. How good were they? You've got today? Robin Singh. You've got Anil that? Kumble. Yes. Mm. And with such stalwarts of the game sitting over there in the dugout, Again, going back to the Pollard issue, why wasn't he sent higher up? It's happened to them in the past. I mean, it's why elementary. A kid will tell you that. You know, not four experts as they are. Mm. I have the highest regards for Ponting, Kumble, Sachin and all that. Mm. But 
a kid it's would have thought of that. It? It's, it's elementary. Yeah. It's not over money. ten and over. Yeah. Six Six Pollard point. not coming out. Yeah. Six I'm sure point. he must be surprised himself. Yeah. Six point two overs left in the game. Yeah. You bring in your, the guy. You are paid the big bucks. I remember yeah. Michael Jordan said, "Listen, mm-hmm. I'm paid twenty million dollars a year for this Chicago Bulls. Yeah. Throw me the ball. Yeah. Let me win it." Absolutely. And Pollard's and look not at what in he there. did. But look at what he did because there was eight required of the last two balls. Yeah. Agreed it was a full toss that was given to yeah. him, but he did dispatch it for a four. Did he say he's not keen on coming out or something? Yeah, he doesn't like normally coming out before the 15th over. But it's not yeah. up to him. That, it's up to the captain, captain and, the, and the think tank. But let's not take it anyway. I yeah. didn't think Vinay Kumar is, mm. that, is good enough oh, yeah. for 10 off and over. Yep. And his first three balls, yep. that boy's got some kahunas because yes. he got one off, then he got wicket, wicket. Yep. And by G, then all of a Under sudden pressure. the pressure went yep. we're back on. He j- that might have been... The time it's made him as a cricketer. Mm-hmm. Second mm-hmm. last ball, he bowled a slow full toss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the worst possible ball to bowl yeah. to. Yeah. One of the finest strikers in the game. He was trying to get full in Yorker. But the last yeah. ball yeah. was, was a beauty. beauty. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You, right. you know, beauty. there, mm-hmm. Yorker, that's yeah. what's needed. Mm-hmm. Forget the slow deliveries. You know, if a batsman picks it up quickly enough, yeah. you, with these bats, a miss it is going to go for six. What, what, what about do you think, boys, about the, the second last ball? That the game's about millimetres. D- yeah. Did it hit the rope on the full? What do you think? Because well, I'm 50 it was, it was 50. Absolutely touch and go, and which is what possibly why the third umpire took so, such a long time times, to didn't they? decide yeah, whether it was. My first reaction six. was I agree with you, Dino. I thought it hit the ropes. Yeah, I thought it hit the but, rope on the full. But yeah. on reflection, on, on, upon seeing the yeah. action just, replays, it did just, bounce first. Just for our viewers at home, if the ball hits the rope or the cushioning on the full, it's six. six. Oh, it's it doesn't six, have yeah. to carry over. Exactly. Just to let, um, but if it bounces but just before just, it, well, obviously it's four. What if it hits the ground and the rope at the same time? Go back to the rule books for that <laughs> one. On, guys. What's the right, one, one thing that I wanted to discuss before we run out of time completely is a very happy sight really for all cricket fans across the world, not just here in India, to see two stalwarts of the game oh. come out to open the innings, not what, just bat together, but to open the innings. What is my lucky number? Ricky Ponting and Sachin Tendulkar. What is my lucky number? Seven. No. Nine. 52. Okay. It's always 52. <laughs> I'm 52 years of age. Bradman, 52 is, test okay. matches. I played 52 I've test seen matches. I've birth certificate, Dino. Yeah, 52 <laughs> weeks in a year. And the partnership of 52, 52. Yeah. between Ponting and... Uh, and Sachin you're was sure fantastic. you sure you weren't born in 1952? No, right? thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My dad might have been thinking of me, but no. Look, it, they were great seeing those two guys together. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely fantastic, wasn't it? Well, this is what makes the IPL, yeah. doesn't it? Absolutely. You know, this is what brings the world's best cricketers together. Yep. Where else can you see Ponting and yep. Tendulkar coming because to open the innings? A couple of years Unf- back, no one would have even Sachin. thought that this was possible. Yeah, mm. very unlucky Sachin there. You know, he was yeah, sent back yeah, yeah. and there was no run there, you know. Mm. And Sachin had to respond to Ponting's call. Yeah. I think Ponting's initial reaction was yes mm. and then no, which right. is the worst possible thing for a batsman yeah. because Sachin is there, mm. all, all set for a quick single. Yeah. Ponting's running at the danger end. Mm. And unfortunately, Sachin paid the price because yes, no, hesitation, yeah. suicide. And uh, we missed one boy on his debut, Bumrah, got his cap from yes, Sachin yes. Tendulkar, got three wickets, but I'm going to, for the life of me, how can that kid get LBW's bowling for that wide? I don't care. Mm. That angle is so wide, you yep. cannot get LBW's unless the ball hits the guys on the full. And what do you make of his action? All clear? Oh, that, well, it's, he's fine. He just mm. bowls over the, what we call over the perpendicular. Gail, when he got 90 odd, yep. how many short balls were bowled to him? Well, they try and that's the, this is where they think there's a weakness in the game because if they pitch up to him, he, for so a, he just mooses it down that, the ground. That bat of his, you know, he's just got even... You? Hit it anywhere on that piece of wood, yeah. on that piece of oak tree. But how good and is he through mm. point uh, for sixes and all that? Like they got strong, six off strong the wrist. Unbelievable. And also going forward in the tournament, of course, the law of averages catches up with every team, yeah. with every player. Chris Gale is bound to fail but sometime Chris Gale's or the other. Favorite he, shot is there, point region, where he he just absolutely relishes the ball that's wide outside the off stump, yeah. and good they work. kept on feeding him there. Yeah. And he was angling his bat and scoring sixes what about there. Around the How many times have you yeah. seen him score runs What about there? the round the wicket to him, Farouk? Would you try that? Just to tie him up a little yes, bit? Yes, absolutely. Huh? And t- tuck in in his legs. Yeah, okay. Well, this is what you and I are thinking. Yeah. But unfortunately, we are not paid. No, we're, we're multi-million <laughs> pound think tank no, there. We're not, not paid by Kumble and Ponting and Kyle. Look, it's <laughs> I'm it's nothing it's against them. They're great guys, great good friends of ours. But come on, they should be, you know. a huge blue know. Yeah. There should have been some thought. What about someone like an A.B. De Villiers? I know you're allowed to play only four foreigners every match, yeah. but what about someone like an A.B. De Villiers? Especially if, I would have played say him. for example, a Dilshan doesn't fire. He is in prime form. Mm. At the moment, he is mm. in the form of his life. Mm. You know, very surprising. 
Mm. That he, you know, Delishan was preferred to him. Yeah. Oh, but he's injured. I think AB de Villiers is injured. Is he? He's, well, got a, he's got, he's got okay. a tweak somewhere. Oh, let me tell you. You remember that fifty hit off stain off seventeen mm. balls mm. last year? Mm. That guy is yeah. sublime. And and now we've seen with the BCCO pitches, they're making the pitches now, right? Because mm. normally we get a pitch. That's 175 yeah. pass rate. It had a bit in it for the bowlers, which was good it's tonight. The BCCI I like that. groundsman who oversees the, yeah. the, the, you know, the making of the pitches. Mm. He doesn't actually make it. He does rely on the local groundsman to make it. Oh, and I'm sure a little these imp- big input here. And all that. Mm. That's you know, Donny having a little quiet word with the Chennai groundsman. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Ball <laughs> tournament. <laughs> you can bet your bottom rupee that's going to happen. <laughs> well, it does happen, I'm sure. All right, a quick question before we wrap up this discussion. Gentlemen, mm-hmm. first to Mr. Engineer, we've seen Mumbai play, we've seen Bangalore play the first match. Which one looks like a better team? Ah, good question. Well, Bangalore certainly looked a better team mm-hmm. at the start. Mm-hmm. And it was the Gale factor mm-hmm. that, that mattered in the end. Mm-hmm. And we said that all along. If Chris Gale gets going, yeah. with his, you know... But if you, take, injury, if you take Gale out of the equation, would Bangalore, Bangalore still be the same team? are going to miss him big time. Yeah. As Dino said, Bangalore are going to miss him big yeah, time. How, how can you not miss a cricket like Chris Gale? Yeah. You know, he's capable of tearing any attack in the world today. It's pretty much like Messi and Barcelona, isn't it? If you take Messi out of that Barca lineup and they are half the team that they Yeah, but Gale are. hits the ball a bit harder than Messi yeah. does. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully. But yeah. uh, I'll, I'll just say, if they both teams had their full team in, both with Malinga in mm. and Chris Gale and all that, I mm. still think Mumbai is a better team. On, yeah. There'd be Absolutely. very, very little to yeah. choose there. Mm. Luckier team on the day, mm. or the better think tank on the day. Yeah. Sorry, I keep on harping upon that. Yeah, actually, but I just find it atrocious. <laughs> actually, yeah. I looked at the game today. Yeah. That Pollard wasn't sent I, in I earlier. thought Bangalore would win. Yeah. But when I, as I watched the game as a guy, I'm saying, mm. no, Mumbai's a better outfit. They're a bit more balanced yeah. and I'll get it. A little bit rusty. I tonight. think the surprising factor was the Dinesh Karthik knock. Yeah. I don't think anyone was expecting a knock like yeah, that from Dinesh Karthik at that time with so much pressure. I've seen Dinesh play a few very good innings. And he's, he's more than capable. Yeah. You know, he, he was middling the ball. Right. He was helped by some loose bowling. Again, short pitch bowling that he, you know, right. he was hitting. When you got Absolutely. Oram, Johnson, uh, like, and, like they all got... Mitchell Johnson, the good striker. He's got, he's got yeah. test hundreds. He could have come I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to wrap up this discussion now <laughs> because we've completely run out of time. Thanks, Great Dean. game, though. Dino, thank you so much, Mr. Yeah. Engineer. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Of course, uh, the debate will continue why Mitchell Johnson bowled so well in this particular match when he didn't <laughs> bowl that well for Australia in the test series versus India. <laughs>